afternoon and welcome to Melinda's Messy Sink. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you've been having a great week and I hope that you and your family are doing well. Today we are going to finish off our Easter recipe series um, with part six, deviled eggs. There are numerous ways to make deviled eggs and what I thought I would do would be to show you my basic deviled egg recipe with mayo and mustard, um, a little bit of sweet relish. So let's go ahead and let's get to it. The ingredients that we will be using to make our deviled eggs today are large eggs, store-bought eggs, either Miracle Whip, Hellman's, Duke's, whatever type of mayonnaise that you prefer, sweet pickle relish, granulated sugar, yellow mustard or Dijon mustard. It's whatever prep, whatever mustard that you prefer. In my recipe today, I'll be using yellow mustard, but I've had several deviled eggs that were made with Dijon mustard and they tasted wonderful. All right, let's get you guys caught up. The video linked above is a video where we boiled and peeled eggs to determine the best method. So uh, once I had done that, I decided let's go ahead and make deviled eggs together. So to catch you guys up where we are, we have um, boiled 20 eggs and we're in the process, I've already peeled them, and we're in the process of cutting them in half and putting our yolks in a separate bowl so that we can make an egg mixture. So you cut, once you get your eggs peeled, then you're going to take out the yolk and put them in whatever kind of container that you want. Um, this container, I think I got it at Walmart, and it's got a lid and it just pops in the refrigerator until um, the day that we're going to eat them, like for our family gathering. And then I just take them out, put them on a platter, and we're good to go. So that's why I use this to store my eggs. All right. So, I'm going to get this stuff cleaned up just a little bit and I'm going to grab the other ingredients that we need and we're going to go ahead and make our mixture. It is, comes together so quickly and then we'll fill our eggs, put our lid on, and we'll be done with the deviled eggs. Deviled eggs is also something that you can do ahead of time. Um, so you can do your deviled eggs the day before, put them in the refrigerator, and then the morning of your family gathering, you don't have to worry about those. You can focus on the meals, the dishes that need to be hot or that you could not make ahead of time. Okay, so I've got the ingredients that I'm gonna be using to doctor up our egg yolks and make our uh, the center of our deviled eggs. Um, this recipe, I'm going to put the recipe in the description box. This is hard for me because I just put it until I get it a specific color that I want the mixture to be. And I'll make sure that you see that color and we'll guesstimate um, a good place to start with your different ingredients and then you can add more or less as you go. All right, so first I'm going to use yellow mustard, give it a good shake. And I'm gonna do probably a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of yellow mustard. Next, I'm going to add my sweet pickle relish. And this is a two tablespoon um, measuring spoon. And I'm gonna give it a helping two tablespoons. And then next, which is gonna be the hard part, it's a measure, I can't even get it open, is the mayo. And I give it a pretty healthy dose of mayo. So that's probably a fourth of a cup. And then let's do, that's maybe half. Let's do just a little bit more. Okay, so that's probably a good half a cup of mayo. So we're going to use our hand mixer. And we're gonna start this to see how, if I can get to that color that I'm looking for. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna whisk this up and I'll put it to where you can see it, hopefully. Very creamy. 
some people this is perfect for them. I prefer mine to be a little bit creamier. Um, so if you want to do a little sample and taste it there and see what it needs or if it's still too yolky for you or still too, um, uh, too lumpy, um, then you can always beat it a little bit more. So I'm going to add more mayonnaise to my mixture. another quarter of a cup. that we put in there. So from here, let's give it a little taste just to see what it needs. I'm just gonna put a hair more mayo in here because the mustard's pretty strong. But it really has, it's sweet enough with the sweet relish so we don't need to add any more of that. Sometimes if you have really big yolks, you need to add a couple tablespoons of regular sugar. But this is sweet enough, we don't need to do that. So I'm gonna add just a pinch more mayo and then um, get it um, stirred around and then we'll start filling our eggs. All right, I'm gonna get all this off the sides so that you can see the color. And once you do this once, you'll know what color that you're looking for for your eggs. It's just that first time of trying to get it the exact way that you need it. All right, make a little bit of a mess here. <laughs> All right, so see how it's a pale yellow and it looks very creamy. It's not very lumpy. That is the consistency of the eggs that I like. You may want yours a little darker yellow with more mustard or um, if you choose to use Dijon mustard, it may um, have a different color as well. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to get some of this stuff out of our way and then I'll be back in just a minute and then we'll get these filled. We are um, all cleaned up, got my hands washed off again, and we it's now time for us to fill our eggs. You can use a piping bag to fill your deviled eggs or you can use a method that I'm using. It's just very simple. Um, I have this little bitty spoon. I'm not sure, I think I picked it up like maybe at a clearance rack somewhere. And I thought this would be the perfect size for deviled eggs. So um, I'm going to just um, pick my egg up and then I'm gonna fill it. And you do um, you however you want. If you like gobs of filling, <laughs> Um, feel free. I kind of am somewhere in the middle. Um, I like there to be plenty on there, but I don't like it to be like too much yolk, if that makes any sense. And these do not have to be perfect. That's the beauty of deviled eggs. So we'll do a couple more together, and then I will finish these off, and then um, I'm going to, uh, we're gonna put some paprika on the top, some people do not like paprika, and there's a lot of different flavors of paprika. So make sure that you pick one that you do like. Paprika is completely optional. Um, uh, I, my husband cares for it. They say it doesn't have any taste, and it's probably completely psychological for me, but for some reason, I don't care much for it. So this pan of deviled eggs that I'm doing, probably half will have paprika and the other half won't, just to accommodate my guests. So you get the idea, all I'm doing is going through and filling uh, my egg with a uh, mixture. Now, what I'm gonna do, instead of having you sit here and watch me, is I'm gonna go ahead and get these all filled, and then I'll be back um, and we'll put some paprika on and give them a test. Be right back. This gives you an idea of how they finished up. 
Of course, that little one there for me without the paprika. <laughs> All right, let's give this a try. I love these deviled eggs. I don't have them all the time, so I think that's why I appreciate them so much. They're creamy, they're sweet, um, they're, you can kind of taste that background of that mustard. They're cold, it's so good, so, so good. I can't wait for you guys to try these. All right, so as promised, we're going to finish off our container of eggs with a sprinkle of paprika. Now, don't do what my sister did. She um, grabbed the cayenne pepper instead of the um, ground paprika. So I'm gonna put this lid on. I'm going to let these sit in the refrigerator for several hours and get cold. And I've got one more step done. I wanted to take a quick second to thank you guys so much for going through all six parts of our Easter recipe series. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. And I wanted to wish you all a very happy Easter. I hope you enjoy getting to spend time with your family this year. And I hope that you have great weather. Um, don't forget, Jesus loves you. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.